This is Learn Chinese Cultures with me, your mentor, Josephine. Welcome to week three. This week, I will talk about the Chinese core value. We will start the lesson with a fun fact quiz, and then I will explain to you why it's important to learn Chinese value. Then I will introduce you the most well-known concept, the five moralities in the Chinese culture. Finally, we will do lots of fun activities and some extra practices to consolidate the knowledge. Let's begin with a fun fact quiz. This man in the picture is Confucius from the Spring and Autumn period in China. He was a very well-known and influential man in Chinese history. I would like you to guess what was not the occupation of Confucius. That means what job did Confucius did not do? A. Doctor. B. Philosopher. C. Teacher. I will give you a few seconds to guess the answer. Three, two, one. The correct answer is A. Doctor. Good job. Confucius was indeed a philosopher and a teacher. He was the founder of the philosophical concept Confucianism, which had a huge impact in the Chinese society. He was also a teacher. And he taught Confucianism to his students. Okay, let's dive into the lesson, shall we? Why is it important to learn Chinese value if you're not part of the Chinese society? The answer is very simple. By understanding the Chinese value, you will understand the principle of the Chinese people in different relationships. It helps you to interact with them better. Not only you will understand them better as a friend, the knowledge will also allow you to collaborate with people from the Chinese culture better in the workplace setting. Secondly, by learning Chinese value, it broadens your horizon. There are different valuable concepts in different cultures that worth us learning. We can then integrate what we have learned from other cultures to our daily lives, and allows ourselves to improve. Okay, now that you have understood the importance of learning Chinese value, let me introduce you the most well-known concept in my culture, which is the five kinds of moralities. In Chinese, we call it "mzun." The five moralities include yan, benevolence; yi, righteousness; lai, manners; zi, wisdom. Sun, trustworthiness. The foundation of this idea was first proposed by Confucius, the philosopher we learned from the fun fact quiz. Later on, another two Confucian philosophers, Mencius and Dong Zhongshu, continued to develop the idea to the current five moralities. Now, let me briefly explain to you. Each morality one by one. The first morality is benevolence. The idea is that we have to love the people around us. That can be our parents, our siblings, our friends, and all other possible relationships. So, how do we love them? The idea of benevolence suggested that we have to be empathetic. Try to understand one another. By understanding them, we can always forgive and love. Do you agree? The second morality is righteousness. Can you guess what idea this morality suggests? Righteousness suggests us to do what is right, and to do that, it is necessary for us to have. Compassion. 
with compassion, we feel bad when someone is going through a difficult time, and the bad feelings motivate us to reach out and help. Righteousness is a very important element in a loving relationship. A relationship without righteousness is a relationship without support, and a relationship would not be able to go further. The third morality is manners. The idea is that we have to give respect to individuals. One of the way to do that is to be polite to people, especially to those who are at a higher level than us, such as teachers. Our boss and relatives. This is important, as these are the people who take care of us and who teach us. This is a way to show our gratitude. After all, the act of manners should be from our heart, instead of simply acting it just for the sake of it. Imagine showing appreciation to someone who do not care. That doesn't make sense, right? There are two moralities left. However, I understand there are so much content in today's lesson already. Therefore, I will talk about wisdom and trustworthiness in the next lesson. But I believe you have already grasped the idea of the first three moralities. So let's do some activities together to consolidate the knowledge. And now let's practice. <laughs> This is an easy question. Can you name the three moralities I talked about just now? The first letter of each word is given to you as a hint. I will give you some time to think about the answer. You can also pause the video until you finish writing. Okay, three. Two, one. Let's take a look at the first one. The first morality is benevolence. Correct. Good job. And the second morality is righteousness. Excellent. You got it right again. And the last morality is this one is very easy. Yes. Correct. The answer is manners. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Well done. The next activity is learning by selecting. In this activity, I would like you to pick one picture which demonstrates the idea of benevolence. Let's take a look at the first picture. It shows a girl crying, and her friend is comforting her. In the second picture, three girls are bullying the girl in the front. The third picture is the girl ignoring her mother. And the last picture is a boy being very curious with the flowers. I will give you some time to think about the answer. You can also pause the video until you know the answer. Remember, you can only pick one picture. Okay, so the answer is yes. The answer is the first picture. Good job. This picture demonstrates benevolence because, from the girl comforting her friend, we can tell there is love between the two people. Benevolence is not limited to people we know; it can also be strangers. The idea of benevolence is that we should give love to anyone. Well done. The next activity is learning by matching. Below are four pictures. Each picture belongs to either the category of righteousness or manners. Can you please link each picture to its corresponding category? I will give you some time to think about the answer. You can also pause the video until you finish it.
Okay, let's take a look the answer together. What morality does the first picture show? We can see that the volunteers are distributing food to the people in need. So this picture belongs to righteousness because righteousness suggested us to do the right thing by reaching out to people in need. Good job! What about the second picture? We can see that a family is welcoming the guests to their house. This is a polite gesture, so this belongs to manners. Think in this way. Imagine your family invited friends over. You just let your parents open the door and you didn't say hello and you didn't talk to the guest. This is not a respectful behavior, is it? Now let's take a look at the third picture. The man in the middle stands up for his friend and confronted the bully. So this belongs to righteousness. Again, this is because he is reaching out to help and obviously this is the right thing to do. The last picture belongs to manners. In this picture, we can see that the children are very responsive to their teacher. This is a very good manner in school. When someone talks to you, you should always listen and respond so that to make people feel respected. Good job! I can call you a little master in morality now. Well done! In the last activity, I would like you to do some reflective thinking. Do you agree with any of the moralities I mentioned? That includes benevolence, righteousness, and manners. And to explain why do you agree or disagree, try to recall what does each morality mean and the reason why Chinese people think the specific morality is important. This is an open question and there is no right or wrong. The goal is only to make sure you understand the concept. You can pause the video for a few minutes and think about your own opinion. Then you can share your idea with your friends and families. Well done! We will finish today's lesson with a fun fact quiz. This quiz is about Journey to the West. Journey to the West is one of the four classic novels of Chinese literature. Can you guess what is this story about? A. A fight tournament in the West. B. A group traveled to the West to get the scripture. C. A race to the West. I will give you some time to think about the answer. Meanwhile, you can look at the pictures and that might give you some hint. Three, two, one. The correct answer is B. A group travels to the West to get the scripture. We can see from the picture, this story is about how some spirits protecting the monk to get the scripture in the West. Along the journey, there are a lot of evil spirits trying to eat the monk because they think that the meat of the monk can let them live forever. This is a very, very famous story that was made into TV shows and movies in Asian city. You can check them out if you're interested. This is the end of today's lesson. But if you would like to learn more about Chinese value, here are some extra practices you can do. This is a link to a video which you can learn more about Confucius and Confucianism. This is a link to a quiz about Confucianism. This quiz is designed for kids, so that wouldn't be too difficult to do. Lastly, I would like you to do some reflective thinking. Try to think about the question such as, how is the Chinese value different from the value of your own culture? And 
Do you think the Chinese value is good for the Western society? Finally, don't forget to have fun. I'll see you next week.